free, Red. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Man, you need to lighten up. Hell, you might even try smiling. On second thought, maybe frowning suits you better. Hey, don't pout. <laughs> Look. Hmm? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Are you guys seeing this? What is all this? Something wrong, sir. <clears throat> I see. Very good. The men are on standby, sir. Your orders. Bring them in. It's like the whole damn building's made of them. Yeah. I don't understand. What are they doing? Who knows? Wait! You don't think he got caught up in it, do you? If he did, I hope he's okay. Uh. They're coming. Who? This we don't need. Time to go. <sighs> Of course, the original game had a lot of mini games in it. More mini games than I tend to even think it had, given how old of a game it was. And there were many games that they seemed to have put a quite a bit of effort into. 
I mean, like, let's say, comparing Final Fantasy VII to IX, IX had a lot of minigames in it also, but a lot of them tend to be things like the jump rope minigame at the beginning of the game, where it's just sort of, it probably took them, it took somebody a day to implement that, or something like that, where Vivi is jumping rope, just have to time it properly. In Final Fantasy VII, the original anyway, you had things like the motorcycle chase scene that happened as you were escaping Midgar. Something that really is only mandatory that has to appear in that one part of the game. It was also the submarine minigame. There was the um, snowboarding minigame. It was stuff like that. And it's like... <laughs> I mean, they definitely didn't compare to... Or, or help even the... Um, real-time strategy thing that you saw at uh, Fort Condor. Most of these would reappear at the Gold Saucer if you felt like playing them again. And, I mean, some of them I did play over and over again. But, yeah, they didn't really compare to their contemporary, like, actual games of that genre. Like, the motorcycle racing thing, it didn't compare to, to Road Rash. You know, that's, like, its nearest... Uh, style, uh, nearest genre of, uh, comparison there would be Road Rash. Didn't really compare to Road Rash. Didn't look as good as Road Rash. Didn't play as good as Road Rash. It just wasn't as good, but, you know, it was surprisingly complex and surprisingly, um, well made for just a mini game that would go on for three or four minutes as you were escaping a building in Disc 1. And the snowboarding section wasn't as complex or as good as, like, Cool Borders or or 3 Extreme or whatever. But, you know, it was surprisingly good for something that was just a mini-game in a JRPG. Submarine thing, I don't know what the hell to compare that to, but it was surprisingly, surprisingly good and complex compared to... I mean, not complex game-wise. None of these were complex gameplay-wise. But they were complex in the sense that, like, it would have taken quite a bit of effort to turn a game like what Final Fantasy VII was into this genre of gameplay style, so... Stubborn bastards! Look! Come on! course standards are different now. You wouldn't be able to get away with having something as simplistic as the motorcycle chase scene in the original Final Fantasy thrown into a modern game like this, even if it is just sort of a minigame that appears only once. In this case, it appears twice in this game. Once when we were heading up to the plate to get some explosive stuff early on, between the first two bombing missions. And now... So, they found a way to wedge this in here twice, for this style of game, not the same environment or anything. But the st standards of what people expect, you can't just put something quite as simple in a modern game as they did back in 1997, or 6, or whenever Final Fantasy VII came out. I guess 97. So, this is much, much better well-developed. It's also quite a bit longer, and I'd say perhaps it's too long. The fact that you have to do this twice in this game really does sort of make it drag a little bit. But, I mean, I get why. Everything else in this game was dragged out, and the developers are clearly proud of what they did here, so to just make this level last longer than it probably should have. It is... it does go, um... It does sort of give you an, an idea or some puts it in perspective, however, how much things in the games industry have changed. In 1997, and this game was released, what, in 2021? 2021, yeah. 
or 2020. Shit, I don't know. <laughs> I looked it up. It was April of 2020. So by the time this game had come out in April 2020, so what is that? Uh, 23 years. So much has changed. And we're looking at a situation where the... <laughs> Well, I don't know, just just look at this. This is supposed to be a mini-game, yet so much effort has gone into this. So much more than the original game. And not just, like, picture what the original looked like. Untextured environment, or largely untextured environment. It went over pretty quick. All the character models were really simple. The uh, animations were real simple, all that kind of stuff. And then fast forward these 23 years later and you're looking at something here that although I wouldn't say that this gameplay wise should have been a standalone release although you know it could have been if it were like some sort of a uh, like a $20 game on Steam or something like that graphics wise anyway this looks like what a AAA game would look like if it were a modern road rash well, no, Road Rash never had this graphical style, but like that type of gameplay. If you made a Road Rash style game nowadays, it would it would be a high quality game if it looked this good. I wonder what the development cost of the remake was. Hmm. I don't know. It also hits me a little bit hard to realize that. This game came out in April of 2020. I picked it up on launch day. I'm showing you the gameplay of my initial playthrough. <laughs> and here it is, November of 2022. And holy shit, I'm still trying to produce episodes for this series. I have really fallen off the bandwagon here when it comes to um, keeping up with making things for this channel. I swear I don't, I don't try to procrastinate or let the channel slide it's just it's just not something that I'm putting a lot of effort into anymore I used to I mean it's I've well understood for more than a decade now because I've been doing this for like 12 years now I've understood for more than a decade that I was never going to be a success here but I still used to put more effort into this and I just can't do it anymore I mean it's now and then I'll get like bursts of energy and motivation and I'll do a lot of stuff, but it's it's uh, not something that I've been kept keeping up with, obviously. Cloud, you all right? Get down! Alright, so the reason... I mean, there are a lot of reasons why I haven't been um, churning out episodes the way I used to. Or the way I did at my peak, anyway. And, like, a lack of motivation yet. I mean, there is legitimately only so many hours in a person's day. So, okay, yeah, I have, a, I have my job. My job takes up about 50... Between 50 and 55 hours of my time every week then you went my commute which ter isn't terribly long but there's that and then over the past year or so I've put a lot more effort into fitness so spend more time at the gym there than just social life then after all of that like okay so I want to say I want to have um, some time playing some games, all that kind of stuff. Well, do I want to play the new game that I'm into? Well, I could say, like, Elden Ring was a big game I was into this year. Do I want to play some Elden Ring, or do I want to go and churn out some episodes for the channel? Like, oh, uh, well, sometimes I'll make episodes for the channel, sometimes I'll just play whatever the hell else I'm into. And, yeah, the channel definitely suffers. Then, of course, there are a lot of instances where I have 
gotten excited about a new project and I start recording episodes for a new series. And then I decide at some point, like, it's not working. This, this series for this game is just not any good and I have to abort it. And that is just an enormous amount of wasted time. The number of times I've done that has been just staggering. It drives me nuts sometimes to think about it. That's it! I'm taking you down! We done here? Even if you look at a game that I did enjoy playing through, like this one here, I only played through it once, I didn't do it twice, I got all the gameplay footage within one or two weeks or so, and then all I really had to do was to load the, load the footage into Premiere and then record the commentary over top of my gameplay footage. And, I mean, that's simple enough, but other games like, oh my god, on PC, for example, the game Dragon Age Inquisition. Now I've done the other Dragon Age games, so I figured why not Inquisition? The game is long. It takes. A, I start recording episodes for it, and honestly, I've done this three times. I've done this three times where I've started making a series out of that game, and then I realize that it's not any good, and it it's just terrible. No one's gonna want to watch it. I don't even want to. I <laughs> I actually edit them down and I make. I produce something like 15, 20 episodes or something like that, and I realized that this is garbage. I can't put this on the internet, and I, and I essentially just cancel, cancel the whole project, and then I, like there goes all the time that I spent doing that. Same thing happened with uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Same thing happened with Knights of the Old Republic. It's happened with a lot of games. It's happened a surprising number of times. I did it with Resident Evil Seven. I'll, I made something like 10 episodes of a Resident Evil 7 playthrough, and then like I, I ended up aborting it. And it's like, oh my god, why? And, and you know, sometimes it's like I did have a hard drive lost early in this year. So my hard drive died, and I lost a lot of gameplay footage, which is the reason why my Witcher playthrough stalled out, because I had, I had um, recorded some number of hours of gameplay and I was using that as my footage to edit the episodes and then all of that went away when my hard drive crashed. Hard drive died and suddenly like oh uh, what do I do? Do I just pick it up some hours later? Do I load up an old save? Well I don't know what the <laughs> Is these saves aren't really uh, doing a very good job of informing me what it, where I was in the game, <laughs> or what episode I was, or what episode I was recording during the save or anything like that. It's maddening. So unfortunately, like my Witcher Three playthrough is sort of not dead necessarily, but it's uh, it's stalled out. Same thing happened with, uh, or a similar thing happened with Final Fantasy. Uh, what what number was that? Thirteen. Final Fantasy 13. I was recording episodes for that. Honestly, I don't, I don't think it was really that bad, but I got to a point where something happened and I lost my save and, like, and I haven't 
put an episode up on this channel for more than a year, that series, and it's like I want to get back to it. And it's it's sad because just to think about how much more dedication I used to show this channel was, I had an idea when I first started doing it. It's like okay, just put an episode up whenever you want. I started recording them, and then I went and I um, abandoned the channel after a few weeks, and then or months or something like that, and then came back to it like six months later. And then it's like, okay, so three episodes a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Then I'm like, oh, you know what? You know what? Uh, let's let's do five. And that's when I started doing like multiple games at once because I would have something like Xeno Gears, which was my main series, and I'd have something else on the side, which was like a slightly easier to do series. And I'd have a third one, like the original Resident Evil, that I could just record the entire game, a dozen episodes or something like that, and then one sitting wouldn't take much time wouldn't take much of anything so that way i would have content i can always just keep churning out but like even that somewhat lazy standard or even the fact that majority of the games i play now i try to do a live commentary so i don't have to edit the video down at all which unfortunately i couldn't do with this because it was recorded on a playstation 4 and like i usually only really do that with place with pc games I still just can't, um... I am not talking about this game at all, am I? <laughs> I'll go in and out of motivation. And like, uh... Like, at some point, I'll... feel the... um... what I need to, to... <laughs> put the, some serious effort into this. I've wanted to do some, like, longer form, like, discussion things or, like, longer form analysis stuff like I used to do. And I do like making, like, game trailers and stuff like that, but, like, it, nobody cares anyway, and I haven't done it in a while. Okay, y'all, let's finish him up. Come on! Close. Go for the head. With pleasure. 